some cubs busy playing with one another and disappearing. All right, so that is a cub that had a piece of meat in its mouth. Let's go forward a little bit more. So quite often they will, they will play with bits and pieces and scraps of food. They look like they're nice and full. Let's see. <coughs> Lots of lion tracks there. Robin, you wanted to know if I've ever seen a lion do a kill live on safari. Um, I've seen many lion kills, uh, Robin. Have I shown one live on drive yet for safari live? Um, there's some more lions in there. But anyway, let's go forward. Um, uh, no, I don't think I have, to be honest with you, Robin. Um, I've done a lot of uh, a lot of these safaris, but I'm quite allergic to sitting in these cars and doing these types of drives. Drives, <clears throat> I find them fascinating, really, from a large predator point of view. But what I really enjoy doing is walking around, and there to see to see kills on foot is fairly rare. We've got a lion, a youngster there. I think what we have got here is a, is a mass collection of cubs. I can see another lion lying there. I think what we've got here is a mass collection of cubs that are all playing with one another in and out of this drainage system while moms catch up on some sleep after a, a hunt last night. So. I'm going to unravel the story here a little bit, I think. Let's get into a position where we can actually show you some of the action that's going on here. Um, and why don't we go and have a look at Taylor's lions while I do that. 